Happy Friday, everyone. I have a grocery haul for you today. I've been running errands all day, getting ready to go to Disney, and my last stop was Costco. Phone call, hold on. So it's not my biggest Costco grocery haul ever. It might be one of my, um, hold on, hold on, another phone call. Okay, it might be one of my um, smallest, actually, but I only needed a few things. I actually went into the store because I'm not sure of what dinners we're going to have uh, on our vacation. We're getting, we have this like big hotel. It's basically a house. It's huge. And uh, there's a full kitchen. So um, some nights I will be making dinner. Other nights we will be eating out. So I wanted to grab some easy meals, like maybe freezer meals, but I don't know. I didn't find anything. So I'm, I'm, we're fully stocked up is what I'm trying to say. And then I bought a bunch of snacks with us to bring while we're at the Disney parks and uh, you know, just touristing around and all that stuff. So I'll show you what we got from Costco and then we also, well I say we, but I went to Target and I have a Target haul for you that will probably go up next week. But um, I got a little bit of food from there as well. So I'll show you both of them. Okay, so here's the haul as a whole. And a part of me wanted to go to Publix, but then I thought, Nah, if I need something while we're out on vacation, I can just run into a grocery store. It's not like we're gonna be in a hole somewhere where I won't have access to any food. Do you know what I mean? Um, I got a whole lot of carrots. Figured we could eat these. I could pack them during the day. It's just a good snack. Also good for dinner. Oh my gosh, so good. I wanted to get the whole ones. For some reason, those look more appetizing for me, um, but I didn't. I don't know, the whole thought of peeling them and cutting them, like the prep work involved, I was just like, no thank you. I got a bunch of oranges, some bell peppers right there, and Brussels sprouts. I also got some strawberries. These were a good price, but guess what? When I took them out of my trunk, when I opened my trunk to get the stuff in my house, these fell out and then opened and strawberries were all over the street. Ugh, that's my life. At least it wasn't a watermelon. Um, I got some bananas, because that's happened to me before, watermelon. I also got some celery, it's a great little snack. I figured all of these things, well not the peppers, well yeah, the peppers too I can cut up, well not, okay, not the Brussels sprouts, but all of these things will be good to just pack as a snack, like on the go, do you know what I mean? Just pack a little thing of hummus, a little thing of celery, carrots, orange, easy peel, it's so good. Um, I also got some seaweed. My kids have been uh, loving seaweed, and I was looking for the non-organic. Do they have that? I don't know. I feel like I've seen it, but I paid, a, I paid a pretty penny for these. I don't know. I don't know what the going rate for seaweed is, so I just bought it anyway. Um, I also got these. Alex, I feel like would love these. So uh, just an easy breakfast because we're not gonna have our chickens with us <laughs> while we're on vacation. And I have stocked up like a dozen eggs or so. So hopefully I have enough for breakfast, breakfasts. And I don't know, it's just, for me, that's like a quick, easy breakfast that I can just shove at him and be like, okay, now let's go to Disney. Um, I also got a bunch of cold cuts. What are these? Turkey, ham, and more turkey. Smoked turkey and oven roasted turkey. And I just figured we can make Sammy's. Um, my kids sometimes love peanut butter, sometimes they don't, but I'm stocked up on peanut butter. I also got this, oh my gosh, for the first time. Then this almost opened in my driveway too. What is it? This was on sale for $2 off. It's kale pesto pasta with shrimp. I don't know guys, I guess I should open it up and try it for you since it's like halfway open already. Oh my, is that even safe? It was not even sealed. All right, let's do this together. Oh my gosh, so good. What is that, sun-dried tomato? I think so. With the shrimp, oh man. I haven't had shrimp in so long. Mm. Mm mm-hmm, that's good. One more bite. Okay, enough with that. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I haven't been home in such a long time to eat. Okay, so that is good. I'm kind of thinking this was an impulse buy. Oh look, the sell by date is my birthday, 624. That's my birthday. <laughs> so, what was I saying? Oh, it was an impulse buy, the price. I was like, you know what, that's expensive. It was on sale, but for the amount that you get, I don't know, I feel like it still wasn't that good of a price, but I don't know. I can make this myself, you know what I mean? It's just pasta, pe the pesto sauce that they sell, some shrimp and sun-dried tomatoes, and boom! 
Hence, I bought some sun-dried tomatoes because I was like, I can make this myself. But I don't, I just bought it anyway. And this is enough sun-dried tomatoes to last me, oh, just about the rest of my life. So I'm gonna be putting sun-dried tomatoes in everything. Hey kids, you want some applesauce? Here's some applesauce with sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> like, oh, does it come with recipes? Hallelujah, there's some ideas. Let's see what it says. Oh my gosh, it's so small, how am I supposed, ooh, Mediterranean salmon pasta, Greek potato salad with sun-dried tomatoes, that's a good idea, sun-dried tomato artichoke dip, ooh, so three recipes, ooh, <gasps> wait, is it a bonus recipe on the back? Hey oh, Mediterranean chicken and artichoke, sun-dried tomatoes, wait, like, um, like chicken salad with sun-dried tomatoes and artichokes? Oh, mic drop, I have all of these ingredients, I'm gonna make it. Yep, I'm gonna make it. That is amazing that it even comes with recipes because I was even thinking, what the heck am I gonna do with all these sun-dried tomatoes? And now, I know. Okay, moving on, <laughs> I bought even more of these granola bars. The kids eat so many of these and then whenever they have friends over, they gobble them up and I'm like, I have to put them up high now. They have to ask for them, otherwise they'll just eat like four at a time. And oh my, true story, when Avelina was younger, she would eat like, I don't know, three granola bars at a time or something. And I would say, Avelina, you're eating so many granola bars, you're gonna turn into one. And legit, she did not eat granola bars for a solid six months. Like, I think I scared her into thinking she was gonna turn into one. She was really young though, like, I don't know, younger, around three. I wanna say she's around three. Um, okay, so Cheez-Its, I got these. It's, you know, it's vacation, it's fun time, and I even got some Fruity Loops over there we're gonna get to. I almost got, what are the what are the fish ones called? Goldfish, but I figured Cheez-Its just tastes so much better. All the salt, mmm. Okay, so hummus, the individually packaged ones, these are easy for me to, oh, oh my gosh, for like a split second I thought I wasn't recording that whole time. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was thinking, wow, I'm gonna have to redo all of this. Okay, well obviously not like the rando parts. Okay, anyway, moving on. I got some hummus. These would be easy to pack in, uh, in snack, like lunch snacks. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I got fruit snacks for the kids. It's vacation time, guys. It's a summer, summer food haul. I also got, oh, the, I, I might be more excited about these than the kids. I love sun chips. Who doesn't love a good sun chip? I almost got another bag. They had like weird flavors, like jalapeno, like good flavors, but kid, the flavors my kids probably wouldn't eat, so I got these instead. We will definitely gobble these up. I usually only buy them for like birthday parties and then during the summertime. I want to buy them every time I go to Costco, but I have to refrain myself. Otherwise, I'll eat, I will eat like four bags at a time because I love chips. Okay, moving on. I got these, what are they, croissants. I figured these would be good for either chicken salad or slap some ham in there or breakfast croissants. You know what I mean? So versatile with the croissants. And then um, last thing from Costco, I got, um, what is this, bread? Like uh, sandwich bread? What are they actually called? Some kind of roll. I don't know, how much were these guys? $5.99, artisan, ooh, burger buns? Hey, that would be a fancy burger. Um, I'm just gonna plop some lunch meat in there or chicken salad, again. And this is a ton for us to go through, so I always put them in the freezer, and then whenever I need them, I can put them in my toaster oven on a really low setting to let them de, um, not de-thaw. I always say that. I've been saying it my whole life until you guys pointed it out. They're like, de-thaw? No, um, until they thaw out. Um, and then the bonus of, I mean, you can put them in the microwave for just a few seconds and they'll thaw out, but the bonus of doing it in the toaster oven is it makes them like nice and heated and crunchy. Oh my gosh, just on the outside though, so good. Okay, and then everything else I got from Target, I mentioned before that I got the Fruity Loops. Um, I asked the kids, I said, okay, we're going on vacation, we're not staying at home, so what would you, what kind of cereal do you want? And they said Fruit Loops, and then Eleanor wanted marshmallow cereal. I didn't get that because I couldn't find it, I don't know. Um, but really, she just wants the marshmallows. <laughs> I could have just bought her a bag of marshmallows and she would be super stoked. Um, I also got some of these, what, what is this? Snack mix. For the price I paid, I don't get that much. And then you know what? I miss my Sam's Club membership, just, just a little bit, because they used to sell a monster bag of Chex Mix. I guess I could ask someone to buy it for me, but 
I don't want to give my money to Walmart the devil. So I bought this tiny little bag. It says family size, but come on guys, let's be real. That's not a family size bag. <laughs> um, I guess I could have bought a couple of these, but I got those. Who doesn't love Chex Mix? You know what I mean? And then at Sam's Club, they also sell the, oh, what's the fancy version of Chex Mix? It's like not Ghirardelli, but Gur something. You guys know what I'm talking about. I also got some crackers and then more crackers, peanut butter crackers. There's 18 in there. And at Costco, they sell like a box of 40, I think, for around the same price. But my God, 40 of these. Holy crap. They would last all summer probably for us. And then, of course, I got some Laura bars from Target. I have not divorced from Laura bars. Some of you are thinking that. No, I still love them. These mint chocolate brownie or mint chip brownie. These are my absolute favorite. Put them in the fridge and eat them cold. And they're even more spectacular. They taste like um, a York peppermint patty. And someone else mentioned that they taste like a, a junior mint. Is that what they're called? I've never had those, so I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's just like chocolate and mint. So delicious, kind of like a thin mint even. Just picture chocolate and mint together and it's divine. What I love most about Lara Bars, if you guys know, if you've been watching and hanging out with me for a while, you guys know, I love that they have like all natural ingredients. You know what I mean? No extra crap. There's five ingredients in here, six ingredients in there, no junk. Um, and then my second favorite is Avelina's first favorite. It's coconut cream pie or even the coconut chocolate chip is so good. And yeah, try out Laura bars. You won't regret. It's like a date bar. So it's a bit soft. Um, they can be firm if you put them in the fridge, but, um, they're, it's not like a granola bar or anything like that. And then I picked up two. Oh man, they fooled me. Chicken noodle soup was what I wanted, but then I also got pub style chicken pot pie. No, I don't want that. I wanted two of these and I grabbed without looking or really thinking, but bummer, that's my fault. So that is everything that I got from Costco and Target. Um, mostly all the snacks that we will be bringing with us on vacation. And then for dinners, who knows what I'm going to conjure up. Probably just throw a meat, throw a vegetable, and throw a starch on a plate is basically what I do every other night <laughs> of, of, of our lives. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to dig in and eat something because, oh, well, maybe I should wait for dinner. Or should I ruin my appetite is basically what I do every day. I just eat all day long. I can't help myself. I just love food. Thank you guys again for hanging out and I will see you next time. Have a good weekend. Bye.